stretch us while celebrating our lives outside of work. This is the theme of this video that's directed towards manager leaders in organizations today. This is actually number five of 21 requests that staff have of their manager leaders. My name is Steve Hobbs or Dr. Wealth from wealthlearning.com. So the theme of the video is that staff want to be challenged at work. That, that's a given. And they need you, the, the manager leader, to celebrate their lives outside of work as well. And when you do, you advance excellence. I'm going to make a suggestion here. As you listen to the request again, we suggest you pause the video after hearing the statement. You'll see a pause button pop up on the screen. And when you do, jot down at least one action you will take to fulfill this request from your staff. That's before listening to ideas that we share with you. And so this is number five of 21 in the series. So there's more to come and we look forward to uh, sharing more videos with you as we move forward. So here's the request. Dear manager leader, it's important you stretch us to move forward at a pace that celebrates our life outside of work. Here's a client's situation to emphasize the point of the video. During a busy stretch of adding three new initiatives to the staff's organization of work, staff were asked to participate in related workshops that were to be facilitated from the outside within a specific time span. There was some pushback from the staff on asking, well, why now? Well, I was working with the manager and the staff were quiet to agree. The manager could see that. And the manager was still unsure what was going on, even after asking some questions. I asked if I could chat with a few staff to see if I might understand their quietness. Through some respectful questioning, I learned that the staff had been pushed hard for the past five months with the new initiatives and felt their home lives were being affected. They saw the workshops as just another thing to add to the list. Now, having learned what I did from the staff and I asked their permission, I shared my understanding of the situation with the manager with the following insight. When adding, subtract. That is, to add more without taking something away and or reassigning it, there's a point where work burdens other aspects of staff's lives. While people like to be stretched, there is a point, like an elastic band, when it breaks. And so realize, with the law of addition, it requires subtraction. In other words, to subtract something of equal or more value if you're adding things to the workplace, to the work. Also, the law of subtraction requires addition. To add something of equal or more value if you're taking work away. Therefore, be aware of addition and subtraction and their effects on staff's lives outside of work. Oh yes, the same perspective applies to the law of division and the law of multiplication, albeit not as often. And yet, have you experienced the effect of a downsize or a merger acquisition? In addition, to help the staff position the new workshops, I suggested to the manager to reframe the workshop delivery approach to mirror the experience-based learning underway which meant that the workshop learning was also a way to evaluate what was happening. In other words, were the new initiatives hindering or helping the organization of work from the staff perspective? And as to an update about the situation, the workshops went well, suggesting the new initiatives were meeting the KPIs. The manager reassigned work to other areas and reframed job profiles. And the manager held a family picnic where she publicly thanked the families for the past six months, which I thought was excellent. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go, but I heard that it went over really, really well. For you, if you'd like to have more understanding around management and leadership issues in your workplace, even based on this video, then book a virtual coffee meeting and we'll connect for 15 minutes or more and explore your managing leading requirements and requests. Here is the website address for you to book your meeting. And I look forward to chatting with you.
Here are also the coordinates if you wish to look us up and find out more about what we're doing. Here's the website, the blog, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, how to contact us through email. Take care.